everybody, my name's Chris and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake. Uh, this is a way too long of a series, but we're actually gonna go battle Pom Pom. We are going through the boss runs. We have complete. We completed three last episode, so I'm really hoping that we can complete. Uh, at least there's four left, so we're actually halfway done. And for this challenge, we have to avoid her shockwaves. Apparently, her tears do not count, uh, which is very good news because I did not know that. Um, We'll see how much I have to actually reset here. Hopefully it's not too much. Uh, this is one of the boss battles that gave me the most problems actually in the, my normal playthrough. So we'll, we'll see how bad it gets. I don't know, man. <laughs> I just, now that I know that the tears don't really matter that much, I'm really hoping it's not too bad because these aren't that bad to avoid, to be honest. Uh, maybe in combination with the enemies we'll be fighting, maybe they'll get bad, I don't know. Um, it's the combos, the wombo combos that normally suck. We good? Oh, we good. We Gucci fam. Cool. Well, so far it's been very easy, but obviously it gets much harder. Oh, all right. Almost fall into the, the, the la lava. What? What is this stuff? I don't know. Okay. So far it's still easy. Okay. Can't see what I'm doing. Very nice. That guy's lost aggro on me, thankfully. Uh. Okay, nice leg spikes. Alright. Half our health is gone. Me squog. Is she saying me strong? What does that mean? Yeah, these ones are a bit more annoying to avoid. They're a little hard to tell where they even are, to be honest, but... Um, hopefully it won't be too bad. Yeah, once again, it's gonna be the enemies. Once the enemies start, uh... So, let's try this out. Yeah, look at that! You can dodge through the tears with a dodge. Who would've thought? Most times you can't do that in these kinds of games, but uh, is she doing a shockwave? No, okay. What the? What the? That turned into an enemy. What the hell? <laughs> All right. Okay, are we gonna one shot this? I'm gonna shit myself if I one shot this. Oh, those are a little bit more complex. Okay. I'm just gonna try and stand in front of the shiny object ones. All right. If I one-shot this, that would be absolutely hilarious. Although I am, I should maybe shut the hell up because uh, it's a good way to jinx myself, you know. And I, I definitely do jinx myself a lot um, in, in just life in general. So let's uh, now you in Pearl. Ha! Victory Screech. Oh, all right, that's fine. That's the first time I've taken damage, I think. Oh God. Now, should I go take- you? I should take care of this guy. Oh, what hit me? I don't know what hit me! Okay, that time I definitely got hit. I don't even know what the hell just happened. Damn! So close, man. So close. Alright, so, uh, between episodes, I, um... Preloaded the level, so um, this is what I meant last time when I said this is actually if you're gonna also grind these out for the love of God, please preload the level as in teleport to the level on anything but the boss, then uh, go into the boss and then reset as needed. And then now I only have to wait through one loading screen, which takes which I think halves the time actually. Yeah, it would, I guess it would, well, a little less than half the time because of uh, other reasons but so now we don't have to go through this one loading screen and while it won't put me at the boss it will put me right in front of the boss and i could just jump right into the boss without a loading screen so that will be pretty nice um i guess there's no need to really uh, show any more of this i'll be back once i reach the final what is pearl even standing on bone structure i don't know what the hell that is uh oh okay or not and and then, yeah, we just do this, and it should pop me in, like, almost right away. So, still a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie, but a lot less, um, so. Uh, alright. Alright. Just defeat the second pillar. There's one of these guys still. Yeesh. Okay. I have to be very careful here. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, got him. Now will be a, there be another one? Is the question. Oh no! Oh no! Not one of you. Wait, actually, I think we're already good. I think she's done with the shockwaves. I think we're fine. 
I did take damage earlier, so unless I was misled on how this boss battle works, I fell into the lava. No! What? It killed me! What? It insta killed me! Does that. I didn't get hit by the shockwaves. Does that count? That doesn't count, right? What the fuck, man? It insta kill. I had one of the guys on me, bro. Every fucking time, man. There's some stupid shit. I just. There's actually miss. There's a little sucker on my head. Bro, I fucking hate this game. <laughs> it's my fault. It's literally my fault. There's no one to blame but myself for that. But good god, dude. Good god. Get out of here, you piece of shit. I'm gonna do this anyways because, I mean, I didn't get hit by the shockwave. Yeah, okay, I gotta stop doing that. I didn't get hit by the shockwave, so maybe I'm good, question mark? Uh, well, we'll see. I did it again! I fucking hit the jump button and it didn't fucking register! Oh my god, man! Well, I'm still having to get hit by shockwave, though, so that's good, I guess. If it even counts, so I don't know if it counts. All right, we're about to unlock it. Now, please, for God's sakes, man. Did it work? Did it work? I have no idea. I died multiple times. I didn't touch the shockwaves. The tears hit me once. The tears only hit me once. Now that you know I could dodge through them, it actually makes it a lot easier to do. Now, is it going to count that as me? Did it fuck up the achievement because I died <laughs> multiple times is the real question. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that, yes, it did fuck it up. I'm going to have to do it again. Uh, but at least, I mean, this, yeah, this is very doable. You know, this was the one I was most scared to do before I did any of these boss challenges. And this one is actually pretty straightforward now that I know you can dodge through the tears really easily. And the timing's not hard at all either. You can mess up the timing pretty badly and still be okay. Now, does it count? Does it? Yeah! Let's go! All right! It makes those... It says dehydrated. So that would imply the tears. And yet, here I go getting hit by all the things over and over again. All right, well, this worked out for the best. We are only seven minutes in. Somehow, the hardest one turns out to be the easiest one. Um, you know what? Let's go serve up some um, food in our underpants, huh? So well, next up, we're going to do the uh, medieval one. And then we just have Glove World and the final boss. This is the last one I'm actually... Oh, the slide. Shit. Oh my god, don't look at his ass. This is the last one I'm actually concerned about. Because the Glove World one, I only have to have Glovey kill 20 enemies. That's that's easy. I, it's going to maybe take a bit of time. And I guess I have to worry about myself dying. I should have loaded closer. I, I feel like if you load closer... It loads the boss fight quicker? That's probably not true. Um, but, uh... And then the final boss is just don't get hit by the tentacles. Get hit, I, I, only, I only accidentally touched the tentacles once, so I think we're going to be okay with that as well. Um, Alright, let's uh, go through this loading screen, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright! So, I just did a bit of research. And apparently, this task... Oh, I have to hit this. Is that like what was that like loading screen, man? Oh, I got hit. Oh, I see. Apparently, I could all so this the challenge for this one is don't get hit. Let's see, what does it say exactly? Because that's kind of important. Deliver all cakes without getting hit once. Apparently, you get hit as long as you're not carrying a cake with you. So that makes things a lot easier. That makes things very easy, actually. So, um, yeah, so I could get hit right now, and it actually we would be we would be fine. So if we wait for these attacks to disappear, will they disappear? I don't know if they will. Oh. Okay, so now, if I got hit now, that'd be really bad. Okay, we didn't get hit. <laughs> okay, if you... Can I knock these away? I can't. So I guess I'm going to test very quickly here if that's going to count. So I think the, I think we fail the challenge if we... if I Because if you get hit holding a cake... Like, assumedly, it gets, the cake gets destroyed, right? So I think the whole idea is you don't want to destroy any of the cakes. I think. Uh, I guess we should pro- uh oh We should probably do this one. <laughs> well. Well. Okay, so see, see what I mean? So now- <laughs> I definitely failed it there, but uh, I'm in high spirits because maybe this one <coughs> won't be as bad as I hope. Please. 
please, please let it not be as bad as I thought it was going to be initially. All right. That's one. I don't need shit, bitch. Ugh, bitch. Hey, that works. I'm out. All right, that's great. Um, still haven't gotten hurt yet, actually. Ooh, see, I got hit there. So, uh, yeah, we're, I'm really hoping my um, the thing I read was true. And that the fail condition for this is actually just uh, getting hit while delivering a cake. Oh, we already got those. Oh, I I somehow forgot that we did those here. Okay, let's summon the cake. I don't think there's anything wrong with summoning the cake. We'll kill the lads. Got hit there, but it's fine. Don't celebrate too much. You didn't hurt me, you dumb bitch. Sorry, that was very aggressive, and I didn't mean to call you that, Mr. Sir. Okay. What? Okay, well, I didn't get hit, so... <clears throat> that should be fine, right? Surely? All right? All right, Pokemon. Um... Bro, what? It's despawning them. <laughs> it's colliding with the table, I guess. There we go. Blah, blah. All right, um, Punch Man. Do we have any worm guys in here that are gonna attack me? I don't remember. I don't think there are any worm guys. Those guys are so annoying to deal with. But we do have those tub dudes that will mess with me eventually. Hello. If only I had the cake summons. No! May not. Yay! All right, we're halfway there. Whoa, whoa, we are living on a prayer. Uh, take my hand and we'll make it, I swear. Uh, whoa, whoa, we're living on a prayer and a cake-based dream. Yay! Okay, okay, so far so good. So far so good. We're 60% of the way done. And 60% um, of my dreams have been fulfilled of this cake-based uh, reality. Uh, where are we going next? We have that ladder right there. Okay, he's there. And we failed! Very nice, very nice. I, I literally instantly failed. I failed on the same frame I picked up that cake. Very good. <laughs> Somehow that counted. Alright, we're back at six. Nice little start here now. I did throw one cake that missed the mark and despawned. Once again, I don't know if that means I'm going to fail this task or not. I'm guessing not. I mean, because I'm sure I lost the cake, but I didn't get hit with it. So only one of two fail conditions are met. So surely it's fine, right? Bro, I hate this shit. I hate all the stuns in this game. The stunning moves are just, they feel bad, man. They just feel... Okay, once again, I didn't get hit. However, the cake hadn't yet despawned when I did get hit. So does that count? I don't fucking know. Also, why that bounce off him to begin with? Sometimes if you throw at the base of the table, it bounces away. Okay, that time it didn't. Shit sucks, man. <laughs> this game is so, so, uh, broken. Nothing makes sense. Nothing feels good. It, uh, except the jump kick move sometimes. Even that, sometimes it don't feel very good. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Personally, I think all the jump kick should work. It should default to whatever your camera's pointing to, and if there's not pointing to anything, it should default to whatever's closest nearby. That's how I think it should work, but no, it's only if what the camera's pointed at. Okay, that time it works. 80% complete. Oh, shit, it's Tubby. Oh, it's Tubby. I think I just ignored all the mobs last time, didn't I? Well, this time we ain't doing that. This time we fucking all them up. Hello. You freaking gorilla. What? Just one. Okay, just one that time. I mean, yeah. <gasps> what the? I'm stuck! Stop calling me Shoff Shoe. Shoff Shoe. Shoo. Now you're making my lisp come out, alright? Oh boy. Yes, oh great. Oh cool. It, great. Double. Oh boy. Fucking go good. Good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I hate these guys. In combination with Twitchy just pissing me off over here. Oh great. Jumping kind of messes it up. No. Oh, no. Ah! See, it's just the timing's perfect! Okay, we should be fine, right, Shirley? One more! Time! Okay, let's call them all. Just make this as uh, doable as possible. I forgot to start my timer during this. How long have I been talking for? How long have I been stunned over and over again forever, ever? Oh, man. 
What is it even? I don't even know what those guys do when they suckle on I me. Mean, like the, the small versions of the punching guys. What are that? I don't. Does, so, I, like, I, it doesn't. Sometimes it feels like it makes me move slower. Well, uh, where's the last cake? Over there. Got it. Sometimes it makes me feel move slower. Sometimes it feels like I can't attack properly. I, I just know that makes any sense. Okay, cool. Great. Perfect sun. Alright, we're making a mad dash for it. Now, does it count? <gasps> did it count? Did it count? Did it count? Wait, did it pop up? I was looking at my timer. It didn't pop up, did it? It did not count. I still- I also don't know whether or not it's because I got hit while the cake was still spawned in or what. Shit, that sucks. Alright, well. Um... See you at 9 out of 10 cakes! Oh! Fuck you. <laughs> All right. We're at 9 out of 10, and I actually haven't even got hit. Well, that I was going to say. Uh, I only got hit by two, sorry, of, of Twitchy's Balls of Darkness. And I haven't got hit by a single enemy this entire time. Until now. Uh, okay, just kidding. That actually didn't happen still. Um, so I've, I've actually done this near flawlessly. Where's the last cake person oh right there okay so we even have like, like a kind of easy one to do last two so i i'm gonna be extremely surprised if i fuck this up um okay oh, fuck. oh god <laughs> okay there is no way there is zero way i mess that up there is no way there is no way okay there's no way there is no way right all right. <sighs> Night and shining PJs. Now that should theoretically mean 41 out of 44. Two more rewards remain on top of the one sponge rule them all. I'm going to quickly look up, unless there's anything I'm missing about this, this should be really easy, which this should also be easy. If these are both as easy as I'm thinking, then I'll just do both of them next time. If this one's more difficult than I'm thinking it is, then I'll do it this time. So give me two seconds here. Okay, in my uh, brilliant laboratory, I've done many such experiments, and I have discovered that, yeah, Glovey is as simple as I thought. And even, I even looked at the final boss just to make sure, and yeah, it is literally just the tentacles. I get hit by the chalk waves in the final boss, and it does not matter. So in other words, I'm going to call an episode here. And next time will, without a doubt, be the finale of this let's play and me let's play in general and i'll also give a brief update about what's next on this channel um so thank you all very much for watching i greatly appreciate it thank you for coming on the journey this went on for way too long <laughs> but you know what it's the final let's play it's fine um thank you all very much for watching i greatly appreciate it I, you know something feels real good about just seeing all these particles they're not even really particles they're just uh, something feels real great about destroying this. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we will 100% complete this game. Thank you all very much for watching. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye!